the nervous system thinks it knows. The nervous system makes predictions. As opposed to what? Quite often when we're working with anxiety, really any emotion, but it's a good example to use anxiety. We will notice we feel anxiety and we'll notice kind of, we'll attune to that anxiety and maybe sit with it and we'll, we'll notice thoughts because there's always kind of a thought structure underneath emotions, right? So, okay, anxiety is here and I'm noticing that it's saying something and it's saying maybe, what if something bad happens? Maybe I won't be able to cope with that. With that. What if I get found out? What if I get exposed? What if, maybe? Now, part of the reason it's so difficult to get out of this, to release this energy, is that we don't actually fully understand how to communicate with the nervous system. We don't understand how to hear it, how it communicates. Now I said, the nervous system makes predictions. The nervous system thinks it knows. And if we're noticing, well, okay, I'm working with the anxiety and it's saying maybe this will happen, maybe that will happen, what if this, what if that. We're actually not accurately listening to the nervous system. That is not actually what it's saying. The nervous system is never ambiguous. The nervous system says things like, something bad is going to happen. It's not, there's no gray areas with it. Something bad is going to happen. I am going to lose my job. I am going to be exposed. I will not be able to cope. This is what it says. And if we can, okay, that's not pretty. It's not pleasant to acknowledge this. But if we can start by acknowledging the certainty of the position that the nervous system has, we can actually start to the process of letting it go. We can't let it go if we're not accurately attuned to what is it actually saying? Why does it have a problem right now? see the, the rational mind there's a there's a role for the rational mind with anxiety but it's a it's a it's a minor enough role the biggest part of releasing these emotions is to figure out what is it actually saying accurately because if i'm not i'm misrepresenting it so we start off and we, we figure okay this is what it's saying and now because i know accurately what it's trying to tell me i can start to question it so this is just a short video, but this was a big, big help in, in, in my work. When I realized, ah, the nervous system, that's not the nervous system speaking there. That's the nervous system coming up, being filtered through the rational mind. And then that's uh, sort of a, uh, not a good representation of what it's actually saying. It doesn't say what if maybes. It is in a locked in position. It's a, you see, really, the nervous system is a pattern-seeking program, piece of software, if you like. It looks at the past, and it makes predictions about what's going to happen. Statistical analysis is a rational function. Probability weighing up of, right, is, is a... It's a neocortex activity. We're talking about the reptilian, the, the mammalian brain here, or the midbrain, I should say. It's the old part that's just about survival. Danger detection, get out of here. Okay, fight, flight, freeze, fall. And it's not rational. But we must accept that and then not filter it when we're attuning to what it's actually saying in order to let it go. So when we're doing this type of work, it's like, okay, my tendency here is to overanalyze what it's saying or to be too intellectual about what it's saying, to undermine what it's saying to downplay what it's saying. What we actually want to do is to just take a few deep breaths and say, okay, let me exaggerate what it might be saying. And quite often with anxiety, it's like, it's, it's really fundamental about, uh, fundamentally about survival. You could be going for a job interview and the nervous system is actually saying, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die, right? We get panic attacks it's not rational or it's saying I'm going to be exposed or I'm going to be humiliated or whatever it might be 
and it's, it's certain of it. It's absolutely convinced in that moment. But if we're in, well, maybe this, maybe that, we're not actually listening to it, and then we can't let it go. So once you find out that it has a position, you see, you can't inquire into a maybe. There's no, there's no way you can question a maybe, because maybe everything happens. Maybe space aliens will come down, and they'll get the job instead of me in the interview, right? Maybe it doesn't work. We have to find out what is the declar- what is the, the real position that it's locked into here before I can actually start to work with it. And that involves not intellectualizing it, in fact, overstating maybe what it might be saying, exaggerating what it might be saying, allowing ourselves to be irrational, allowing ourselves to be childish, to be petty sometimes, right, all these things. Then, okay, I can start to work with this. So we, we need to park the rational mind somewhat to really tap into what the anxiety is trying to tell us. Again, it, there is, it's, it's easier to, to allow yourself to do that if you accept that the nervous system is not you. But the nervous system is just being triggered by various things. It's all about safety, protection, survival. So it's going to have reactions because it sees its job as fundamentally important. So w- with that said, you can engage with it with a, sort of a, a, a more of a distance. It's like, okay, this isn't personal. This is just a thing that's happening here in the body. Really what happens is the nervous system and that uh, reptilian part of the brain, the midbrain, goes up to the language centers and influences the language centers in the brain, and you get these thought forms. So it's not a personal thing. It's not your fault. But when you can s- accept that it's not me, it, it gives you an opportunity to just sit back and watch it with a little bit more objectivity and allow it to express itself. And then in allowing it to r- truly represent its position, you can start to ask questions. Okay. Is it true that I'm going to die? Is it true that I'm going to be exposed? We start off with that and we get to see. I've never done an inquiry where the initial position of the nervous system was not completely debunked. And I've done it with I don't know how many thousands of people at this stage. So the ner- it's not about we don't we don't blame the nervous system for being wrong it's 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 uh because its job isn't really to be right or wrong it's just about protection and it will say i'm going to achieve that end through any mean- means necessary so i hope that's a useful video just notice allow when you're tapping into that negative feeling that you might have it's like okay what is the nervous system trying to say it's not a maybe it's not an if or, or what if it's it's a declarative position that it has made let it make it freely and then we can start to question more and to let it go so i hope that's a useful insight for you maybe in your own personal work and uh, that's a game changer if you can if you can allow that to happen within your body hope that's useful guys and i will see you very soon take care